Hey guys, it's been a long time, but we're back with a Metalhead unboxing. This time they shipped us two different packages. Ooh. It's clearly obvious which one of us they like the most. Because look at the size of my package. I have a much bigger package than you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, facts. Facts matter. Facts matter. All right. So I pre I pre cut mine and I pre Cut ripped off. yours yeah so uh you want to go should we go one at a time since they're different uh i'm sure there maybe some items are the same but you, you know yeah let's go one at a time you can go first uh, you want me to go first okay so mine from the looks of it it's i like believe the, there's some vinyls it's like the ten there. commandments yes op it's like i'm opening the, the 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 book of revelations yeah see what, see what i did there yes. book of revelations all right so first off lg petrov patch Rest in peace, Entombed. This is cool. And this is an ironing one. You know, these ones have this. You can just iron them on. Don't do it. Don't but do you it. can. I did that to my Winter Sun one and it burned the whole fucking Winter Sun thing. <sighs> Anyways. By the way, he's sponsored by Solar Guitars now. So, uh, yeah, that there's that. That's to, to good use. Yeah, he's going to rewrite the whole uh, albums that he hasn't released yet. So anyways, there's that patch and then there's this, here, I'm going to put the box on the side and I'll just pull shit out of it. There's a t-shirt. Uh, was it? Bro... Bro Vanica? I don't know, I've never heard of this band before. Maybe you guys can help me out. The design looks cool as fuck, but I've never heard of this band before. Bro Fanica? Bro Fanatica. Bro Fanatica. Oh, whatever. <laughs> You guys get it. Just just let me know. I've never heard of this band before, so I have no clue. All right. Then there's a, a pin. I love these little crack cocaine baggies. The crack cocaine bags, yeah. Ah, oh, they're back. I had missed them. I dearly missed them. What I've missed is the pins. I, I must say, this pin... Man, it looks a little bit like Vatain, but I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can shed some light into it. Anyway, so there's the pin. I almost lost the pin on my dick. All right, and then that's not a question. The, the piece, uh, the resistance, like the French would say. All right, two vinyls. Two vinyls. Two vinyls. Fuck yeah! All right, let's take a look at this. So the first one, obituary: ten thousand ways to die. So let me show you that. All right, let me show you that. Uh, what does it say here in the corner? I don't have my glasses. An incredible life set of twelve classics and fan favorites from the band's storied catalog recorded during their 2016 world tour. See obituary on tour with Slayer. Oh, this was when Slayer was still kicking it. So this is a live album. Dang. And it's 10,000 Ways to Die, which was one of their singles. And the album includes Redneck Stomp, which is pretty much every time they open their set is with Redneck Stomp. Centuries of Lies, Visions in My Head, Intoxicated, Blood Soaked, Dying, Find the Arise, Till Death, Don't Care, I love that song, Chopped in Half, Classic. Uh, turned inside out and slowly we rot. Man, I've never seen them play slowly we rot uh, um, live. Having said that, they just announced a tour and they're coming to Toronto on that tour. That tour is going to be killer. I'm going to be there and hopefully the set will be somewhere along these lines with some of the new material. Now, this is this is set vinyl cover, but this is the vinyl right here. You guys want to take a look at this? Well, you don't have a choice. Yeah, because I want to take a look. Look at that. Not splattered but just classic black on black. Black on black. Black is back. You know what they say, once you go black, you no. never go back. Exactly. All right, so there you go. There you go. No, if I could only, uh, you know, I'm not even gonna try to put this on in there because, you know, sometimes I just can't get it in. All right, so anyhow, the next vinyl. Cam! Cam! Ooh. I love canvas. Side A, torn asunder, ash, cinder, smoke, serpentine, and side B with a uh, diluvian burden of sin and the bereaved. Absolution. Dang. Damn. They're also on tour. They're also on tour. Well, not right now, but they're going to be on tour this year. Around April, May is when they're going to be on tour uh, with Wake. I can't remember. There's three bands on this tour. I can't remember who the other band is, but I know Wake is one of them. Uh, and I'm actually going to be at the Toronto show. Uh, I've seen Chemist Life before, they're a great doom band. 
one of my favorites actually. Oh, I hope mine ma I'm, matches uh, up, man. I'm uh, I'm really excited about that because you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this to the concert and, and I'm gonna try to get it signed. Yeah. Oh, there's the lyrics of the songs and everything in there, beauty. All right, let me grab this. What does it say here? Uh, Chemist Absolution, the debut LP from Denver's Melodic Doom Metal Kings. All right, wow, debut LP. I didn't even realize that that was their debut. Um, been listening to them for a while, but I didn't realize. Once again, black, black, on black. But it looks good with the. Um, I don't really know what color that is. It's like gold. It's like a goldish. It's like a goldish color. I'm definitely gonna take that uh, and uh, make some phone calls and see if I can pull some strings to get uh, the guys from Chemist to, to sign it. Uh, I might actually also pull some strings to see if I can get the obituary signed too. I, I know some folks in the, uh, in the obituary camp, so I'll see what I can what I can what I can score. Well, let, all right. Let's hope mine matches up. You know, sometimes you know big things come in small packages, like Leon. Leon I know, Messi. I know, but but let me just say this: the the two vinyls. I mean, this is hard to beat. You're probably just getting some CDs. CDs. It, listen, the CDs could be amazing. All right. Are you struggling? Now? No. Uh, so I got the same patch. I All got right. The same patch. And I got the same um, pin. Pin. All right. So let's see what else I have obtained here. I'm not gonna look at the CDs yet. I'm gonna unravel the shirt. I already see a CD that I love. Undeath. They're a great fucking death metal band, man. These guys are blowing up right now. Let me just say this: these guys are blowing up right now. Uh, either they're finishing off or they're in the middle of a UK uh, tour. These guys are outstanding. I review their latest record uh, on the channel. I really dig these guys. This is like old school, like really grimy death metal uh, with a New York uh, lime twist on it. Fucking cool band, cool dudes. Um, th this band is going places. I don't know if on a tour bus or on a plane, but they're definitely fucking going. I mean, they've gone to the UK, so that's that's there's some places right there. Yeah. So these guys are going places. Great band. If you guys haven't checked out this band before, go check it out. These guys are outstanding. All right. So your shirt, I think, beats my shirt. At least I know who that band is. Yeah. This one I have no clue. Massacre. I see massacre there. Okay. Yeah. And, and this is. Yeah. This is a compilation CD. Uh, do you mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is a compilation CD uh, with different uh, Canadian thrash metal bands, including Infernal Majesty, Sacrifice, Oblivion, Razor, Slaughter, Aggression, Malevolence, uh, Entropy, DBC. DBC is kind of more hardcore, but anyways, uh, Overthrow, Mission of Christ, Leprosy, amongst the others. I know about this CD because when we had uh, the the show in memory of Walter, uh, the good folks at the Metalhead Box sent me like 15 of these to add to the to the to the packages that we were auctioning. Oh. Good on the people from the Metalhead Box. Let me just say this: the Metalhead Box donated more shit for Walter's memorial. For those of you in Toronto, Walt, you know who Walter is. For those of you not in Toronto, Walter was an iconic Metalhead in Toronto. There wouldn't be a show in Toronto that he wouldn't be at. He passed away late last year in November, and we had a, a show in his memory, and we had. Um, you know items up for auction and I contacted most of the people that I know at major labels like Nuclear Blast, uh, Atomic Fire, Century Media, Metal Blade and everybody was so gracious in sending us massive, I'm talking about like massive packages for free for us to have it at this auction so that we could raise money to cover the funeral costs and his tombstone and all of that stuff and I, I must say the Metalhead Box donated more shit to that auction than a major label. Yeah. I'm not gonna throw that major label under the bus, but uh, you know, they they sent us five CDs. These guys, five CDs for a major label. Embarrassing, if you ask me. I'm not gonna say who they are, but embarrassing. <sighs> Anyways, um, so uh, that's what this is. Yeah, and then I got this one, which is a Metal Headbox exclusive. Ooh, Massacre. Yeah, which, this is, uh, it has two songs from uh, 2007 Live. No, yeah, yeah. There's two live songs on the on on this. From 2007. Let me see something. What's the name? Corpus Umbra. Metalhead exclusive. Like, did they get the case from Massacre to do an album just for them? Oh, there's a bunch of covers on it. I see. There's a bunch of covers on it. Wow. I do love me some covers. Yeah, but I'm. I mean, Massacre. I, I was listening to these guys like 
early on in, in my fanhood of death metal and, and other things. They're from Florida, so they have that not swampy obituary sound, but the traditional Florida I, death metal I see, sound. I see a, a There's theme. a theme here. There's a theme There's here. a death metal theme going on today. Uh, so they have that sound, uh, very similar to Inhuman Condition, very similar to Cannibal Corpse, uh, those kind of bands. Uh, so yeah, so I, I really like this band. I really like uh, Massacre. Uh, their latest album really kicks ass. I, you know, I'm just wondering, like, like, do they have pictures of some of the guys in Massacre naked or doing some unholy shit <laughs> that they use it as uh, as leverage to get, like, an exclusive CD? Yeah. Like, how the fuck do you pull this shit off? I can't get a label to send me more than five CDs for, for an auction, and these guys get, like, this? But I could have gotten these guys to play a show. You know, like, stream it or something. Yeah. For Walter. We should have thought about that back then. Fuck! Either that or they have nothing better to do. So, anyhow. Massacre on that. So, and by the way, did I mention that this is the December Metalhead box? I don't know if I did that. Oh, you didn't. All right, so this is for the month of December. Uh, it came late, but you know what they say, better late than never. Never late is better, like Drake would say. Uh, and, and this is it, right? Is there anything else left in your box? No, there's nothing else. else. All right, so I, I think this is to give you guys a flavor because uh, let me just say, the Metalhead box is revamping for the new year for 2023. Uh, they're no longer sending real boxes anymore. They're sending like this stuff, yeah. which is more uh, environmentally friendly. I one think, would say uh, maybe? maybe, but I would also there's say there's a less carbon footprint. I would also say it's a lot cooler because they get their design, and it's not like a just a little brown box. Yeah, for for the vinyl box, you obviously have to send it on cardboard. I mean, you can't afford to have this shit uh, come in into you in uh, in pieces. Okay, you can put that down because it's fucking up the color. Oh, and at the end of the day, I don't want to look like I'm. Orange. You know, orange, yeah. We yeah. had videos in the past. We, we, and we've we've had enough people looking orange on TV. So anyhow, um, what can I say that I can add to this video? I just want to say once again that they're revamping their look, they're revamping their style, um, they're doing different things. And for those of you that don't know, should I send for the CD? Should I send for the vinyl? This video kind of helps you decide what you want to do. You know what yeah. I mean? Do you, want the, you, you can get the vinyl box, which has a lot of the same contents. You still get the t-shirt, you still get the Actually, bin. It's technically the same stuff, except there's vinyls. Yeah, instead of getting two CDs, you get two, two vinyls. vinyls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, some people that may be the, uh, just the, uh, the thing. Vinyl has a huge thing now. Everybody wants vinyls yeah, yeah. now. So I wouldn't be surprised if more people uh, lean towards the, 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 the vinyl. vinyl obviously, stuff. I'm sure the vinyl one is more expensive than the CD one, because obviously the cost of vinyls is a lot higher than CDs. Uh, I think they should also have an MP3 flash drive box. I was gonna say cassette, but you know, you do you. No, they, I think once in a while they might throw a cassette. Yeah, well, they, they they've done to, that in the past. But that's what I, I, I actually I like because because the the the, 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 vinyls, are the vinyls are the vinyls are cool and vinyls are always cool. But I don't know why I, I really like cassettes, like the the cassettes they've sent us in the past. Um, so I'm I'm looking forward to maybe some more of those in the future. All right, so this is what you can expect from the Metalhead box. In 2023, I don't know if we're going to be opening any more in the future, but if we are, then I'm sure you're going to be here with us to enjoy uh, all the contents for your viewing pleasure. I know I'm thrilled with what we got in this haul. I think he has the best, the best shirt of the bunch. I don't know the other band. Maybe, maybe I'm offside here, and the other band is like outstanding. But Undeath is a great band, uh, which uh, you know. You're making fun of my small. My small package before. Yeah, I mean, my package is a lot bigger. Plus, you know, the vinyls are fucking cool. I'm they assume. are. They're the really vinyls cool. are fucking cool. So, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. When you pulled up the obituary one, I was, I was a bit jealous. What can I say? The chemist one is outstanding. The chemist one looks really nice. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this unboxing video. I know it's been a long time uh, since we've done one, and I know a lot of people have been asking us, "When are we doing another metalhead box?" Well, here we are here doing we are. another metalhead box. So, uh, as far as the metalhead is concerned, I just want to think the folks at the Metalhead Box for sending us this stuff to unbox uh, on our channel. Thank you for the support that you've given us throughout the years. It's always a pleasure to unbox your stuff. So if you ever think uh, about sending us some more shit, don't think twice, just do it. Yeah. Just do it because we love to open this stuff, absolutely. And we love to promote the stuff that you guys do because it's quality product and it's a Canadian uh, a Canadian uh, company, uh, family business. Family business. Underground family business. So I like to promote that as well. So thank you very much for partnering up with us. Thank you guys for watching. And now you guys have an idea of what to expect from the vinyl and from the CD package. We'll see you all at the next one. See ya.